The terrified screams of a trillion aliens shook the galaxy as humanity unveiled their most terrifying creation, a genetically engineered apex killing machine that made humans look tame in comparison. Jake Morgan walked across the polished floor of the Antares Prime Galactic Council chamber. Hundreds of alien eyes drilled into him. Reptilian guards aimed pulse rifles at his skull. A red-scaled Kazon in flowing gold robes glared down from the central podium. Ambassador Antares. Jake Morgan. Your reputation precedes you, Antares hissed. A thief, a killer, a man who gets impossible jobs done. I'm the best in the galaxy at what I do. Jake locked eyes with Antares. What's the job? Rebels stole an ancient weapon. The Void Shard, Antares growled. It can rip apart the fabric of space-time. My soldiers would start a civil war trying to get it back, but a human... So you want me to infiltrate their fortress on Infernos, get the Shard, kill their boss? Jake cracked his knuckles. Child's play. If you succeed, humanity gets a council seat. You get more credits than you can spend in a lifetime. Antares narrowed his eyes. If you fail, your species burns. Jake drew a custom plasma revolver from his hip, spinning it on his finger. I'll get your magic pebble back and show the galaxy what happens when you piss off humanity. Without another word, Jake strode from the chamber, the eyes of a galaxy upon him. He had a volcano moon to invade, a warlord to kill, and a doomsday weapon to steal. For humanity's future, failure was not an option. The galaxy would soon learn that when push came to shove, you never bet against the human race. Jake strode out of the Galactic Council chamber, pushing past reptilian guards too stunned to stop him. The weight of his mission settled on his shoulders. Infiltrate the Inferno's moon. Kill the rebel warlord. Get the Void Shard. No pressure. The rusted metal door of Grayson's workshop groaned as Jake shoved it open. Shelves overflowed with blasters, armor plating, and half-finished gadgets. Grayson, where are you, you old bastard? A voice barked from the back. Watch who you're calling old. Grayson emerged, wiping grease from gnarled hands. His grey hair hung in a ponytail and scars crisscrossed his weathered face. The craggy mercenary had trained Jake since he was a scrawny teen, taught him to shoot, fight, survive. I need gear for a job, Jake said. Something that'll get me in and out of infernos in one piece. Grayson arched an eyebrow. Infernos, the Kazon rebels' stronghold? A slow grin spread across Grayson's face. I've got just the thing, follow me. He led Jake to a reinforced door. Scanners flashed over them before the door hissed open. Inside, a sleek black exoskeleton hung suspended. The Titan X, Grayson said reverently, built it for this kind of shitstorm, integrated AI, plasma cannons, cloaking tech that'll make you damn near invisible. Jake ran his fingers over the gleaming metal. It was impressive, but he'd need more than fancy armor to storm an entire moon. Grayson seemed to read his thoughts. That's not all. He hit a button and a containment pod rose from the floor. Meet your new partner. Inside the pod, a hulking black shape stirred. Molten eyes snapped open. A growl rumbled from its throat. A void hound, Jake whispered, half in awe, half in horror. The dog-like beasts were gene-forged for one purpose, to hunt and kill. He'd heard whispers of humans breeding them in secret, but he dismissed it as a myth. His name's Riker, Grayson said. He can manipulate gravity, crush your enemies, even track that void shard you're after. Jake stepped back as Riker fixed him with a predatory stare. You're sure I can control him? The Titan X interfaces directly with his mind, Grayson assured. He'll do what you say. Jake took a breath, then another. If this was what it took to save humanity's skin, so be it. He stepped into the Titan X. The armor closed around him, cool and unyielding. A tingle ran up his spine as the AI booted up, its presence humming at the edge of his thoughts. Grayson hit the release on Riker's pod. The Void Hound bounded out, obsidian muscles rippling under his skin. Jake's mind reached out, and Riker's joined it. For a moment, Jake staggered under the torrent of rage, hunger, and power flooding his brain. 
Then the link stabilized. Jake flexed his armored fist. Riker growled in unison. We'll get the shard, Jake said, his voice hardened with resolve. And show those Kazon fucks what happens when they mess with Earth. He turned and stalked from the workshop, Riker loping at his side. The first human titan, the last thing those rebels would ever see. Jake's ship pierced the smoky atmosphere of Infernos, the Titan X armor encasing him like a second skin. Riker crouched beside him, obsidian fur bristling, molten eyes fixed on the hellscape below. Rivers of magma carved jagged paths through the blasted landscape, geysers of toxic gas spewing from cracks in the charred rock. Gonna be a rough landing, Jake muttered, hands flying over the controls. Hold on! The ship bucked as it hit a pocket of turbulence, then streaked towards a relatively flat stretch of volcanic rock. The landing gear deployed at the last second. Metal screeched against stone, the hull groaning under the strain, but they hit the ground intact. Jake popped the hatch, the heat of infernos blasting him like a furnace. Riker bounded out first, paws sizzling on the baked earth. Jake followed, sealing his armor. The base is two clicks north, he said, checking the Titan X's HUD. Inside that extinct volcano, let's move. They set off at a brisk pace, the Titan X regulating Jake's temperature and filtering the toxic air. Sweat still trickled down his neck as they navigated the treacherous terrain, skirting lava flows and leaping over steaming fissures. A flicker of movement caught Jake's eye. He whirled plasma rifles snapping up as a squad of Kazon extremists rose from behind a jagged outcropping. Disruptor fire seared the air. Ambush! Jake rolled behind a boulder, armor deflecting the shots. Riker snarled and leaped, a gravity wave rippling out and slamming two Kazon against the rocks with bone-crushing force. Jake opened up with his rifle, superheated plasma bursts stitching across the Kazon's position. The Titan X boosted his reflexes, letting him track targets with superhuman speed. Kazon warriors crumpled, armor smoking. Riker flashed from foe to foe, a blur of ebony fur and flashing claws. Gravity pulses send Kazon flying like ragdolls, weapons crushed to scrap by localized force fields. In minutes the ambush was over. Jake and Riker pushed on, adrenaline surging. More patrols swarmed from the shadows. Disruptor bolts and plasma bursts crisscrossed in deadly patterns. Jake dodged and fired, Riker a whirlwind of savagery at his side. Slowly, they fought their way closer to the dormant volcano looming on the horizon. Automated turrets emerged from hidden emplacements, raking their position with heavy blaster fire. Riker tore them free with gravitational pulses, Jake finishing them off with precision shots. Proximity mines blinked to life in their path, but the Titan X detected the telltale energy signatures guiding Jake around them. At last, battered but unbroken, they reached the volcano's base. A massive blast door was set into the obsidian rock, shimmering with a crackling force field. The shield control must be inside. Jake raised his arm, a cable snaking out and interfacing with the door panel. The Titan X's AI probed the system, but layer after layer of encryption stymied its efforts. Fuck, it's too advanced. Jake ripped the cable free. Riker, I need a singularity right on that shield. Pour it on. Riker crouched, muscles tensing. A low growl built in its throat, rising to a howl. The fabric of space rippled, then tore. A pinprick of utter blackness formed, swelling to the size of a fist. Metal and rock crumpled, the shield sputtering out as the gravitational anomaly sucked it in. With a final pulse, Riker hurled the singularity into the sky where it dissipated harmlessly. A jagged hole gaped in the blast doors, the edges still glowing with heat. Nice work! Jake charged through, Riker close behind. Alarms shrieked to life, a robotic voice blaring in Kazon. Intruder alert, intruder alert, all personnel to Sector 5. Boots pounded on metal catwalks. Disruptor muzzles flashed in the dim red emergency lights. Jake and Riker met the charging extremists head-on, trading fire, clashing in brutal close-quarters combat. They shoved deeper into the labyrinthine base, a trail of broken bodies and bullet holes marking their passage. The void shard was close, Jake could feel it, but so was the rebel leader. 
and something told him their biggest fight was yet to come. Jake and Riker fought their way deeper into the rebel stronghold, blasters flashing, gravity pulses flying. Kazon warriors fell before their onslaught, but more always took their place, pouring from every corridor and hatchway. Riker snarled, eyes flashing, a gravity well formed yanking a dozen Kazon guards off their feet and slamming them together. Bones crunched, weapons clattered to the deck. Jake charged through the opening, Riker bounding ahead. They breached the heavy doors and found the chamber empty. Jake's gut clenched a trap. Energy crackled, and a containment field sprang to life, the air shimmering with disruptive force. Riker yelped, gravity powers shorting out. Jake's suit flickered, systems failing. A harsh laugh echoed from the shadows. Warlord Zorgak stepped into view, a pulsing obsidian staff in his claws. The true void shard. Welcome, Jake Morgan. Zorgak spun the shard, its tip carving glowing sigils in the air. The famous mercenary, did you really think recovering the shard would be so easy? Of course. I knew the Council would send their best, their pet human. Zorgax's eyes glinted with malice. When I defeat you, the Kazon will flock to my banner. We'll sweep across the galaxy, with the Void Shard's power at our command. He thrust the shard forward. A wave of distorted gravity slammed into Jake, hurling him back. Riker whined, struggling to stand as localized force fields twisted around it. Jake rolled to his feet, activating the Titan X's stabilizers. He and Riker moved in tandem, fighting through the disorienting gravity fields. Plasma bolts streaked from Jake's rifle, searing the air. Zorgax deflected them with the shard, sending them careening wildly. Consoles exploded. Smoke filled the chamber. Riker pounced claws raking against Zorgax's armor. The warlord snarled, smashing the butt of the shard into Riker's flank. The void hound crumpled, whimpering. You're nothing, human, Zorgax roared, advancing through the haze. The shard pulsed faster, reality warping around him. Without your beast, without your suit, you're just a primitive ape. Jake's mind raced, analyzing Zorgax's movements, the shard's energy patterns. His suit's AI whispered in his mind, predicting the warlord's next move. There, an opening. Jake fired, a plasma bolt searing past Zorgax's head. The warlord flinched. Riker surged up in that split second, fangs tearing into Zorgax's forearm. The void shard fell from his grip. Howling, Zorgax kicked Riker away and dove for the shard. His claws closed around it, dark energy surging. If I can't have the shard, no one can. Zorgax raised the artifact high. Space rippled, a yawning black hole forming above him. Consoles, wreckage, even the walls began to tear free, pulled inexorably into the ravenous singularity. Riker, hold that singularity. Jake leaped at Zorgax, servos whining. He crashed into the warlord, grappling for the shard. They rolled across the buckling deck, the black hole swelling overhead, the entire base shaking itself apart. Zorgax raked his claws across Jake's faceplate, sparks flying. Jake hammered his armored fist into the warlord's skull once, twice, three times. Zorgax's grip loosened. Jake wrenched the void shard free. The singularity collapsed an instant later as Riker, eyes blazing with eldritch light, sealed the breach in space-time. Jake rose to his feet, the shard secure in his grasp. Zorgax lay still, neck bent at an unnatural angle. The warlord had been crushed by his own desperation. Alarms shrieked. The base's reactor damaged in the battle was going critical. They had minutes before the whole volcano blew. Riker, we're leaving. Jake sprinted for the exit, the void hound galloping at his heels. They had the shard. They'd stopped Zorgax, but their mission was far from over. The galaxy still needed saving. With the void shard secure and Zorgax's broken body behind them, Jake and Riker raced through the crumbling base. Explosions rocked the volcano as the reactor went critical. Magma seeped through widening cracks in the walls. Riker bounded ahead, crushing debris with gravitational pulses. They burst from the exit, the Titan X shielding Jake from the blistering heat. Riker's fur smoldered as it galloped across the hellish landscape. 
A shadow fell over them. Jake skidded to a halt, Riker growling at his side. A massive Kazon warship hovered above the volcano's crater, bristling with cannons. Soldiers in full combat exoskeletons repelled from its belly, pulse rifles aimed at Jake's head. A hatch yawned open, and a tall Kazon in ornate armor strode down the ramp. Admiral Kravox, his yellow eyes fixed on the void shard in Jake's hand. Jake's grip tightened on the shard. I don't think so, lizard boy. I'm not about to let you freaks enslave the galaxy. You don't have a choice. Kravox's lips peeled back in a sneer. The Kazon government has been backing Zorgax from the start. With the Void Shard and our hounds, the galaxy will kneel before the might of the Kazon. Red hazed Jake's vision. The council had been played, humanity had been played, and he'd been their pawn. You want the Shard? Jake leveled his rifle. Come and get it. Kravox roared. Disruptor bolts rained down as the Kazon soldiers opened fire. Jake dove behind a boulder, plasma rounds shattering the stone. Riker lunged, a repulsor wave scattering the nearest troops like bowling pins. Jake rolled out of cover, rifle bucking in his hands. Kazon fell, their armor smoking. But more surged forward, a wall of scales and steel. Riker, gravity mine, on my mark! Jake lobbed a plasma grenade. It stuck to an exoskeleton and detonated, the soldier vanishing in a blaze of fire and shrapnel. Mark! Riker howled. A swirling vortex appeared amid the charging Kazon, an inescapable pull yanking them off their feet. Soldiers crashed together, bones snapping. But the tide kept coming. For every Kazon Jake gunned down, three more took their place. Riker's fur was matted with blood, its hide scorched by disruptor fire. Even the Titan X was struggling, its shields flickering under the onslaught. Jake's eyes darted to the warship above. If they could take out Kravox, decapitate the Kazon leadership. The shield generator, Jake shouted over the chaos. Riker, can you overload it? Riker snarled an affirmative. The void hound crouched, muscles tensing. A focused beam of gravitational energy lanced from its maw, spearing the warship's flank. Bulkheads crumpled, the hull groaning. Keep it up. Jake sprayed covering fire, plasma bolts stitching through the Kazon ranks. Almost there. The shield generator exploded in a geyser of sparks and fire. The warship listed, smoke pouring from rents in its armor. Jake mag clamped to the hull, Riker scrambling up beside him. He carved a hole in the weakened armor with his rifle, then dropped through into the red-lit corridor below. Alarms blared. Kazon crew raced to battle stations. Jake and Riker carved a path of destruction through the ship, a whirlwind of claw and fang, rifle and blade. The bridge doors loomed ahead, sealed tight. Riker tore them open with a gravitational pulse. Consoles shattered. Crew were hurled screaming into walls. In the center of the chaos stood Admiral Kravox, a disruptor cannon in his claws. The barrel glowed as it locked on Jake's chest. This ends now, human, Kravox hissed. The shard, the hound, or I reduce you to atoms. Jake raised his hands, the void shard glinting. Riker growled, fangs bared. The fate of the galaxy hung in the balance, but Jake had a few tricks left to play. Admiral Kravox sneered, disruptor cannon still aimed at Jake's heart. Did you really think it would be so simple, human, that the Kazon would just let you walk away with the shard? I'm full of surprises. Jake's mind raced, calculating angles, weak points in Kravox's armor. So the council was just your puppets all along, huh? Fools, all of them. Kravox's finger tightened on the trigger. With the Void Hounds under our control and the Shard's power, the galaxy will kneel before the Kazon. Void Hounds, plural. A chill ran down Jake's spine. Kravox barked a laugh. You think your pet is unique? We've been breeding them for years, making them stronger, more obedient. And now... He slammed a clawed hand on a control panel. A hidden door hissed open. Jake's blood ran cold. Three void hounds stalked onto the bridge, obsidian fur bristling, molten eyes fixed on Jake and Riker. They were larger than Riker, muscles rippling under sleek hides. Saliva dripped from razor fangs. 
There will be no mercy. Kravox leveled his cannon. Kill them. The hounds lunged. Riker met them head on, a hurricane of fang and claw. Jake rolled plasma rifle snapping up. He fired, bolts searing into black fur. The hounds barely flinched. Consoles shattered as the beasts crashed into them. Riker howled, gravity pulses sending Kazon crew flying. But the hounds adapted, twisting in midair, landing on their feet. They attacked as one, harrying Riker from all sides. Jake ducked a swipe that would have taken his head off. He fired point-blank into a hound's chest. It staggered, then pounced, bearing him to the deck. Claws screeched against his armor, ripping into circuitry. Riker slammed into the hound, bowling it off Jake. They rolled across the deck, a whirlwind of snapping jaws and slashing claws. Kravox fired, the disruptor bolt catching Jake in the shoulder. He spun with the impact, using the momentum to bring his rifle to bear. He put a plasma burst through Kravox's knee. The admiral bellowed in pain, dropping to one knee. Jake closed the distance, smashing his armored fist into Kravox's face once, twice, three times. Bones crunched, teeth shattered. A desperate plan formed in Jake's mind. The hounds were too strong, too fast. They needed an edge. Riker, he shouted over the melee, singularity on my mark. Riker hurled a hound off itself, molten eyes blazing with understanding. Riker howled, a sound that made Jake's bones vibrate. Space rippled, then tore. A pinprick of utter blackness formed in the center of the bridge, swelling rapidly. The hounds yelped as the gravitational pull seized them, dragging them off their feet. They scrabbled at the deck, claws gouging metal, but the inexorable pull of the singularity was too strong. One by one, the beasts vanished into the swirling vortex. Kravox, crawling towards the control panel, roared as he too was lifted into the air. He tumbled end over end, disruptor cannon spiraling from his grip. Riker strained, jaw clenched, eyes blazing brighter than stars. With a final pulse, it hurled the singularity out through the viewscreen. The anomaly shrank to a pinprick, then vanished. Jake sagged back, breath coming in ragged gasps. Riker limped to his side, its flank slashed and bloody. Kravox lay in a crumpled heap, moaning. Jake hauled him up by the neck, slamming him against the bulkhead. The Void Hounds, where are they bred? His voice was cold as the Void. Kravox spat blood. You'll never find it, human. He shoved Kravox into a chair, lashing his wrists to the armrests with torn cabling. Riker stood guard, fangs bared. Jake interfaced the Titan X with the ship's mainframe, the AI slicing through firewalls like a plasma torch through butter. Data spooled across his HUD, troop movements, comm logs, supply chains. There, buried under layers of encryption, a set of coordinates deep in Kazon space, cross-referenced with shipments of gene-splicing equipment, cloning tanks, stasis pods. The pieces fell into place. The Kazon's plan snapped into focus with sickening clarity. An army of void hounds, modified, obedient, grown in secret, waiting to be unleashed on an unsuspecting galaxy. With the void shard to lead them, they would be unstoppable. Jake disengaged from the system, his jaw set. Kravox glared at him, hatred burning in his eyes. I have lost, Kravox. Jake held up the void shard. This ends now. No human. Kravox bared his fangs in a bloody grin. It's only just begun. Jake's grip tightened on the shard. Riker growled, the sound echoing through the broken bridge. Their mission had changed. The stakes had risen. It was no longer just about the shard. Now they had a breeding facility to infiltrate, an army to stop and a galaxy to save. Riker's answering snarl said it all. The Void Hound was bred for this, born for battle. Together they strode from the bridge, stepping over the bodies of fallen Kazon. The warship was theirs, but the real fight was just beginning. A facility full of void hounds awaited them, and Jake would burn it to the ground to keep the galaxy safe. Jake gunned the stolen warship's engines. Riker crouched at his side. The remote planet loomed ahead, its surface a patchwork of twisted metal and pulsing energy shields. 
the secret void hound breeding facility. Jake exhaled, adrenaline still surging through his veins. Looks like Kravox's codes worked for now. He brought the ship down on a landing platform, jutting from the facility's armored shell. Riker growled, eager to be unleashed. Jake checked the Titan X's systems one last time, then lowered the ramp. They emerged into a maelstrom of blaster fire. Kazon soldiers swarmed from hidden bunkers, energy bolts stitching the air. At their side bounded void hounds, their molten eyes fixed on Jake and Riker. Here we go again. Jake rolled into cover, rifle snapping up. Plasma bursts dropped the nearest Kazon, their armor smoking. Riker surged forward, a gravity pulse hurling a cluster of soldiers against the bunker walls. They fought their way towards the facility's entrance, a massive blast door set into the reinforced metal. Jake's rifle bucked, each shot finding a weak point in Kazon armor. Riker was a blur of ebony fur and flashing fangs, gravity waves crumpling soldiers like tin cans. But the Void Hounds were the real threat. They moved with unnatural speed and coordination, reality rippling around them. One slammed into Riker, claws raking across its flank. Riker howled, blood splattering the deck. Riker! Jake dropped a Kazon with a headshot, then sprinted to his companion's side. The Void Hound pounced, jaws snapping for Jake's throat. He caught it with an armoured forearm, servos straining. His rifle swung up, point-blank against the beast's skull. He pulled the trigger. The hound slumped, half its head gone. Jake shoved the body aside, kneeling by Riker. The Titan X's medical scanner flashed a warning. Severe lacerations, internal bleeding. Riker whined, its flank rising and falling rapidly. Hold on, buddy, I've got you. Jake's heart clenched. He couldn't lose Riker, not now, not like this. He accessed the Titan X's hacking suite, the AI probing the facility's systems. There had to be something in the database, some clue to Riker's physiology, a way to save it. Data flashed across his HUD, genetic sequences, neural implant schematics. Then a breakthrough. The Void Hounds were controlled via a neural link to a central command node deep within the facility. Destroy it, and the link would be severed. The Hounds would be free. And maybe... Just maybe Riker would have a chance. I'll be back, he promised, locking eyes with his wounded companion. Just hold on. Riker let out a weak growl as if to say, Give him hell. Jake turned towards the blast door, now pockmarked and scorched from the firefight. The Titan X's power core thrummed, energy building in his gauntlets. Alarms shrieked. Reinforcements pounded towards him. Gritting his teeth, Jake plunged into the heart of the facility, a one-man army against impossible odds. But he wasn't just fighting for himself now. He was fighting for Riker, for the Void Hounds twisted into living weapons, for every species the Kazan sought to enslave. Failure was not an option. Jake would find that command node. He would end this once and for all. Jake fought his way deeper into the facility, Plasma rifle spitting blue death into Kazon flesh. Alarms shrieked. Disruptor bolts chewed the walls around him, but the Titan X shrugged them off. He was an unstoppable juggernaut of human fury. A blast door loomed ahead, reinforced durasteel. Jake's rifle punched through, metal slagging and running molten. He kicked through the smoking hole and froze. Rows of tanks lined the walls, Humans floated inside, suspended in bubbling green fluid. Tubes and wires snaked into their skin, violating the flesh. Their faces were contorted in silent screams. One tank stood apart. Jake staggered closer, ice flooding his veins. He knew that scarred face, that shaved head. What have they done? Jake pressed a hand to the tank, skeletal servos whirring. A containment pod hissed open behind Jake. He whirled, rifles snapping up. A nightmare emerged. Obsidian skin shimmered with an oily sheen. Corded muscle rippled beneath. But the eyes, the eyes were human. Piercing blue, lit from within by an eldritch glow. The hybrid stalked forward, energy crackling around its talons. Jake fired, plasma bursts splattering against a shimmering force field. Nemesis laughed, a sound like breaking glass. 
Pathetic, it snarled. You have no idea what you face. The air shimmered, gravity inverted. Jake slammed into the ceiling, bones creaking. Nemesis leaped, claws flashing for his throat. Jake twisted, magnetic boots locking him in place. He caught Nemesis's claws on his rifle, servos straining. Nemesis bared its fangs, hot breath washing over Jake's face. I am the future, it growled. The next step in our evolution, you are obsolete. I'm full of surprises. Jake head-butted the hybrid skull helm cracking against its brow. Nemesis reeled back. Jake fired point-blank into its chest. The blast hurled Nemesis across the room. It crashed into a support beam, metal crumpling. The ceiling groaned. Jake's HUD flashed red. The command unit, exposed by the damage, a pulsing nexus of circuitry and crystal. He charged, Titanex pumping adrenaline into his veins. Nemesis met him head-on, claws raking sparks from his armor. They traded blows, servo-enhanced muscles versus gene-forged abomination. Jake slammed a fist into Nemesis's jaw, bone shattered, the hybrid staggered. Jake pressed his advantage, raining down blows. Nemesis gave ground, snarling. The ceiling buckled. Support struts snapped like twigs. Tons of metal and composite crashed down, burying Nemesis. It howled, gravity pulses lashing out, but the weight was too much. Jake leaped for the command unit, void shard pulsing in his grip. He slammed it home, ancient crystal interfacing with stolen Kazan tech. Energy surged, crackling arcs of power. The command unit shook, processors whining, containment fields cracked and shattered. Nemesis burst free of the rubble, eyes blazing. It lunged for Jake, claws extended. The void shard flared. The command unit exploded in a maelstrom of fire and shrapnel. Nemesis screamed as the neural link shattered, feedback tearing through its mind. Across the facility, void hounds woke as one. Eyes clear for the first time, free of Kazon shackles, they turned on their former masters, a black tide of vengeance. Jake slammed into the far wall, ears ringing, HUD flickering. Nemesis lay still, smoke curling from its ruined flesh. It was over. He'd done it. The Void Hounds were free, the Kazon's plans were in ruins. But the fight was far from over. He hauled himself up, Titan X already knitting shattered bone and torn muscle. He had a promise to keep, a friend waiting for him, and a galaxy to save. One halting step at a time, he limped toward the distant sounds of battle, Void Shard clenched in his fist. As the command unit exploded in a maelstrom of sparks and shrapnel, the effects rippled through the facility. Void Hounds, their eyes suddenly clear, turned on their Kazon handlers with savage fury. Claws and fangs flashed, gravity pulses hurling armored bodies like rag dolls. Kazon soldiers fired wildly, disruptor bolts scorching the walls. Alarms shrieked, emergency lights painting the corridors crimson. The howls of enraged void hounds mingled with the screams of dying Kazon. Jake staggered through the chaos, the Titan X's shields flickering. Riker, he had to get to Riker. He vaulted a tangle of torn metal, servos whining. There behind the makeshift barricade, a familiar black shape, still and unmoving. Riker! Jake skidded to his knees beside the Void Hound. Dread coiled in his gut as he saw the blood matting its fur, the jagged gashes in its hide. Riker's eyes fluttered open. It let out a weak growl, tail thumping once against the deck. So oh, stubborn bastard, Jake laughed, relief flooding through him. You just had to go and get yourself torn up, didn't you? He ran the Titan X's medical scanner over Riker's body, bracing for the worst. But the readout pulsed green. The internal bleeding had stopped. The wounds were knitting together before his eyes, flesh and bone re-knitting at an impossible rate. The command unit, Jake breathed. Destroying it must have done something to you, accelerated your healing. Riker heaved itself to its feet, shaking off the blood and dust. It fixed Jake with a look that said, what are we waiting for? They charged into the fray, Riker's gravity pulses scattering Kazon like bowling pins. Jake laid down a withering hail of plasma fire, each shot finding a weak point in Kazon armor. A snarl from behind. Jake whirled, rifle snapping up, and froze. 
Nemesis loomed before him, its obsidian hide scorched and pitted. One eye was a bloody ruin, its left arm hung limp and twisted. But its remaining eye blazed with fierce intelligence. It looked from Jake to Riker, its growl low and rumbling. Riker stiffened, hackles rising, but it didn't attack. It stared at Nemesis, head cocked. A series of growls and chuffs passed between them, a wordless communication Jake could only guess at. Nemesis jerked its head towards the Kazon, then back at Jake. It bared its fangs, but not in threat, in anticipation. Nemesis dipped its head a single nod. Jake hesitated. Every instinct screamed not to trust this thing, this twisted hybrid that had nearly killed him. But the look in its eye, the way it deferred to Riker. Nemesis growled its agreement. They fought their way deeper into the facility, a mismatched trio united by a shared purpose. Kazon fell before them, no match for the combined fury of human, void hound, and hybrid. They reached the detention block, a long corridor lined with reinforced cells. Captive humans and void hounds stared out from behind crackling force fields, eyes hollow, bodies scarred. Jake's blood boiled. He slammed a gauntleted fist into the control panel, overloading the circuitry. The force fields sputtered and died. You're free, he called out. We're getting you out of here. The captives emerged warily, leaning on each other for support. Void hounds nuzzled their human companions, whining softly. Jake led the ragtag group towards the landing pad, Riker and Nemesis guarding the rear. They emerged into the ruddy light of the planet's dying sun, the captured Kazon warship looming ahead. A phalanx of Kazon elites blocked their path, disruptor cannons leveled. The air shimmered around them, gravity distorting. Nemesis, Jake said quietly, you're up. The hybrid stepped forward, its growl building to a roar. Space warped and twisted, the very fabric of reality bending to Nemesis's will. Kazon soldiers crumpled, bones snapping like twigs. Disruptor cannons imploded, crushed into unrecognizable scrap. Riker added its own gravity pulses to the maelstrom, slamming Kazon against the warship's hull with bone-shattering force. Jake opened up with his rifle, plasma bolts stitching through the disoriented survivors. The smell of charred flesh and ozone filled the air. In minutes it was over. The last of the Kazan lay still, armor smoking. The warship stood silent and empty, waiting. Jake turned to the freed captives, human and void hound alike. Let's go home. As the warship lifted off, Jake stood on the bridge, Riker and Nemesis at his side. The void shard pulsed in his grip, a reminder of the price they had paid, the lives they had lost. The galaxy was free, and if the Kazan or anyone else tried to threaten that freedom again, they would be ready. For he was Jake Morgan, the best in the galaxy at what he did, and he had a void hound and a hybrid by his side. The galaxy had better watch out. The captured warship shuddered as it pierced the atmosphere of Antares Prime, the weight of their victory heavy on Jake's shoulders. Riker sat at his side, obsidian fur matted with blood. Molten eyes fixed on the slowly growing cityscape below. Nemesis, still weak from the battle, lay curled in the corner, its breath coming in ragged gasps. The ship settled onto the landing pad with a groan of hydraulics. Jake led the way down the ramp, Riker and Nemesis flanking him, the liberated humans and void hounds following close behind. A sea of faces greeted them, council members, dignitaries, soldiers. Whispers raced through the crowd as they caught sight of the Void Hounds. Jake Morgan! Ambassador Antare stepped forward, his red scales gleaming in the sun. You have returned victorious, but I fear you bring with you a great danger. Antares led them into the council chambers, where a heated debate was already underway. Jake stood before the gathered representatives, the Void Shard heavy in his hand. The Kazan's treachery runs deep, he said, his voice ringing out over the clamor. They sought to use the Void Hounds as weapons to conquer and enslave. An insectoid counselor chittered, mandibles clicking. Then the solution is clear, these creatures must be destroyed before they can be turned against us. 
No. Jake slammed his fist on the podium, the Titan X whirring with the force of the blow. The Void Hounds are not our enemy. They were victims, just like the humans the Kazon captured and experimented on. Riker growled in agreement, hackles rising. Nemesis, still weak, managed to lift its head, fixing the council with a piercing stare. Jake took a breath, meeting the eyes of each counselor in turn. These creatures are intelligent, loyal. They have the potential to be invaluable allies in our fight for peace. He held up the void shard, the ancient crystal pulsing with eldritch light. With this we can understand them, work with them, forge a new future, one where no species is exploited or enslaved. The debate raged on, voices rising, tempers flaring. Jake knew he was fighting an uphill battle. Fear and prejudice ran deep, even among the most enlightened species. Suddenly a klaxon blared. The chamber doors burst open and a squad of Antares Prime soldiers rushed in, weapons drawn. The Kazon, the lead soldier shouted. They've infiltrated the council tower. Disruptor blasts sizzled through the air. Counselors screamed and dove for cover. A hollow display flickered to life, revealing a scarred Kazon face, twisted with hate. Did you think you could stop us so easily? The Kazon snarled. We are legion, we are everywhere, and we will have our revenge. Jake leaped from the podium, Riker and Nemesis at his heels. They charged into the fray, the Titan X deflecting blaster bolts, Riker's gravity pulses hurling Kazon assassins like rag dolls. But the Kazon kept coming, pouring into the chamber, weapons blazing. Jake fought with every ounce of skill and strength, but he could feel himself tiring. A disruptor bolt seared past his head, close enough to scorch his hair. A Kazon loomed before him, vibro-blade humming. Jake raised his rifle to block the blow, but he was a fraction too slow. The blade descended, aiming for his throat. A black blur slammed into the Kazon. Nemesis snarling, fangs bared. The hybrid grappled with the assassin, claws raking, jaws snapping. But the Kazon was strong, enhanced by Kazon gene mods. He threw Nemesis aside, the hybrid crashing into a row of seats. The Kazon raised his blade for the killing blow. And fell a smoking hole in his chest. Jake lowered his rifle, breathing hard. He rushed to Nemesis's side, but it was too late. The hybrid lay still, blood pooling around its broken body. No, Jake whispered, no! Riker howled, a sound of anguish and rage. The Voidhound redoubled its efforts. Gravity waves crashing through the chamber, slamming Kazon against walls, crushing them beneath collapsed debris. Together, human and void hound fought on, driven by grief and fury. They would not let Nemesis's sacrifice be in vain. They would protect the Council and the fragile peace they represented. But even as the last Kazon fell, Jake knew their victory was bittersweet. Nemesis was gone, and the Council, shaken by the attack, seemed more determined than ever to eliminate the Void Hound threat. The debate resumed, but there was a hardness to it now, a cold pragmatism born of fear. Jake argued until his voice was hoarse, Riker pacing at his side, but he could see the tide turning against him. In the end, the Council's decision was unanimous. The Void Hounds were too dangerous, their creation was to be banned, and those that remained were to be sterilized. Within a generation, the species would be extinct. Jake stood in stunned silence as the verdict was read. He looked to Riker, seeing his own pain and disbelief mirrored in the Void Hound's eyes. He had fought so hard, sacrificed so much. And for what? To see his companions condemned? To watch the Council in their fear make the same mistake as the Kazon? Jake turned and walked from the chamber, Riker padding at his heels, he paused at the door, looking back at the Council, at the representatives of a galaxy he had fought to save. He strode from the tower, leaving behind a life of service, of duty, but not of purpose, never that. For as he stepped into his ship, Riker leaping up beside him, he knew his fight was far from over. There were other void hounds out there, other species facing exploitation and extinction. As the ship lifted off and Tari's Prime falling away below, Jake felt a strange sense of calm settle over him. The path ahead was uncertain, 
the dangers unknown. But he was not afraid, for he had Riker at his side and the memory of Nemesis in his heart. And he was human, a member of a species that never gave up, that fought for what was right no matter the odds. The galaxy had better be ready, for Jake Morgan was coming, and he would not stop until every species, every world, knew the true meaning of freedom. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.